Hi, I'm Susan Keefe from Rhubarb and Cod, and today I'm making a mortadella pesto melt. After a year and a half hiatus from entertaining, I've started dipping my toe back into the wonderful world of dinner parties. And while it's exciting to stretch my social legs again, my hosting skills are admittedly a little rusty. So I've been taking it easy, scaling back my usual blow up menus for large format recipes that require minimal prep and limited dexterity. But just because these recipes are short on effort doesn't mean they're short in flavor. I love this mortadella pesto melt because it's basically a fancy party sub, which means you get the equivalent of four to six sandwiches in the time it takes to prep one. And let's face it, a giant sandwich makes for an impressive patio spread, especially when it's accompanied with a few simple salads, chips and dips, and some fresh cut fruit. The summer lends itself to low key entertaining, so we might as well lean in. And yes, you may think that a sandwich is not company friendly food, but when that sandwich contains homemade sunflower seed pesto, an artisanal loaf of ciabatta, and high quality mortadella, you're dealing with something more than a mere sandwich. This is high-end picnic food at its finest. So let's get started. We're gonna start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're gonna get to work on the sunflower seed pesto. Place three to four cloves of garlic in a large food processor. Add half a cup of sunflower seeds, one cup of fresh basil leaves, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Blitz until a thick paste forms. With the food processor running, stream in half a cup of olive oil and the juice of half a lemon. Blitz until smooth. Transfer the pesto to a bowl and fold in half a cup of shredded pecorino. Transfer the pesto to the fridge and chill until you're ready to start building your sandwich. The pesto can be made well in advance and will keep sealed in the fridge for up to one week. Next, line a small baking sheet with parchment paper and set it aside. Place 100 grams of mushrooms, I used a wild medley, in a large bowl and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Sprinkle the mushrooms with salt and pepper and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Toss to coat. Pour the dressed mushrooms onto the baking sheet and set them aside. Line a larger baking sheet with parchment paper and set it aside as well. Slice a loaf of good quality bread in half. I use ciabatta for this, but you can use any type of bread you fancy. Something good and crusty is preferable though. Top each half with two heaping tablespoons of the pesto. Using a knife or an offset spatula, using a knife or an offset spatula, spread the pasta, pasta, it's not pasta, it's pesto. Different recipe. <laughs> using a knife or an offset spatula, spread the pasta, <laughs> I'm really hungry apparently. I think better than bread spread with fresh pasta. <laughs> Unlimited spaghetti topped breadsticks. You know, that's like something like you would see on the menu at like <laughs> Using a knife or an offset spatula, spread the pesto evenly across both halves. Arrange the bread on the larger baking sheet, cut side up. Place the mushrooms and bread in the oven for 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes are up, remove them. Now here's where the melt comes in. Place 180 grams of mortadella on top of the bottom half of the loaf. Top the mortadella with 175 grams of thinly sliced provolone. Top the provolone with the mushrooms and finish with a healthy sprinkling of shredded pecorino. Return the bottom half of the bread to the oven and bake for 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. While the bread is in the oven, we can prep the rest of the toppings. First, slice a quarter of a red onion thinly. Next, slice a mini cucumber on a mandolin and chop four Calabrian chilies into rings. When the 10 minutes are up, take the bread out of the oven and top with two to three handfuls of baby arugula. I thought by putting the arugula first, the subsequent toppings would weigh it down and help contain it. I'm not convinced that worked, but we got through it. Basically, the order in which you stack the toppings is totally up to you, but here's what I went with. I topped the arugula with Calabrian chilies, followed by a mix of pitted olives, red onion, and finally, cucumber. I finished the sandwich off with fresh ground pepper and I placed the top slice, well, on top. Transfer the sandwich to a cutting board and secure with four to five cocktail skewers. You can either slice and serve it, or you can serve it whole and cut into it with an audience. So that's everything you need to know about this mortadella pesto melt. 
an easy to put together party sized sandwich loaded with bold flavors. As I mentioned, this is perfect for low key summer entertaining. And if you're anything like me right now, low key is the only key you can handle. I hope you give this one a shot. And if you do give it a go, let me know how it went in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for cooking with me. I'll see you all next time.